Hi boys and girls, it's time for your weekly STEM activity with Miss Fish and her helper. Can you say hi? Hi. Hi. <laughs> All right. Um, this week, we are not going to do the S, which was science. We are going to do the E part of STEM, which stands for, anybody, anybody? engineering. So we're going to make something. Today we are going to make a bubble blower. So you can probably do this at home. My ch guess is that you have most of these things at home. If not, you can do it later or you can just watch. It's really fun. All you need is an ink pen that I would prefer if you got one that no longer writes or that your parents aren't using. Okay. Um, you need a balloon and either a rubber band, I like to use these little bitty ones, but it doesn't matter, a rubber band, any kind of hair tie, anything that ties real tight will work. And you need a bowl or like a dish pan um, full of soapy water. Now, if you're getting this ready, we learned the hard way, don't use Dawn, like dishwasher detergent, just use regular hand soap and put a couple of drops down in it and get a little bit of bubbles going. Because if you use dish soap, it gets way too many bubbles and it goes crazy. All right, so the first thing you have to do is you need to take your ink pen apart. So pop the end of it off. That part's kind of hard. You might have to ask an adult for help. This part unscrews and comes off. So when you're done, you should be able to take the ink part out of it completely. And then you have this hollow, can you see me? This hollow tube left, okay? What I did is I went on and put, if your ink pen has this, you can put it back on there. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. it just makes it a little bit easier, okay? You're gonna take your balloon and put it on the end of the pen. And then you're gonna take your rubber band. Hang on, let me get it where you can see it. Take your rubber band and tie the balloon real tight. Notice I'm going around a couple of times. You want it to be real tight on the end of that ink pen. And the reason for that is so that you can now blow it up, watch. See? All right, I'm gonna let Aubrey blow that up. And while she's blowing it up, I'm gonna show you what we've got ready. So we have a dish pan here, just with some soapy water in it. Let me move this out of the way on my kitchen, all right? Just a little bit of soapy water in here. And what she's gonna do is once she gets it blown up, <laughs> put your finger over it, Aubrey, so the air doesn't come out. There you go. And she's gonna take it and put the whole pan down into this pan of water. Don't do it yet. And then she's gonna move it around and it's gonna create bubbles. Let me get on this side so that everybody can see. Okay, are you ready? Put it down in there and create lots of bubbles. Ooh. Awesome, and then if you wanna do it again, here, just make sure that you wipe that part off before you stick it in your mouth because you don't wanna eat soap. Ugh, that's gross. So just blow it up a little bit, there you go. <laughs> and when you put it down in there, it makes lots of bubbles. Have fun with that. Bye, guys. Can you tell them bye? <laughs>